everyone, I'm back again. It's Fairy Witch One here. I'm going to talk to you about Little Red Riding Hood. So here we go. The story of Little Red Riding Hood is an old one. Red Riding Hood is sent to visit her sick grandmother, taking with her a basket of cakes and wine to get from the village where she lives to her grandmother's cottage. Red Riding Hood must walk through the woods. She gives, She's given strict instructions not to stray from the path and not to speak to strangers. But on the way through the forest, she meets a wolf and strikes up a conversation with him. Before long, she has told the wolf where her grandmother lives and the purpose of her, in, her errand. The wolf suggests that Red Riding Hood pick a bunch of wild flowers for her grandmother to help cheer her up. And so, she, Red Riding Hood strays from the path and picks flowers. What I like about some of these fairy tales, um, the Grimm Brothers fairy tales, this is me personally, um, that they're all set in the one forest, and that's the Black Forest in Germany. Um, it's a place that hopefully I'll be visiting either this year or next year because I'm very intrigued about the Black Forest. Um, back on topic, uh, meanwhile the wolf goes straight to grandmother's cottage, eats the grandmother up and then dressed in her clothes climbs into the bed to wait for Red Riding Hood to arrive. Arrives she does and doesn't see through the wolf's disguise until it's too late and he pounces on it and eats her up. Afterwards the wolf falls fast asleep but his loud snoring alerts the woodcutter. Seeing the wolf, he raises his axe and cuts open the wolf, killing him and freeing Red Riding Hood and her grandmother. Red Riding Hood never strays from the path again. This is a tale about lessons learned, and is the key words is trust. It's simple doesn't it simply doesn't occur to a Red Riding Hood not to trust the wolf. Danger is all around her, yet she still trusts all that she sees. By the end of the story, however, she has learned her lesson and knows that it pays to follow her mother's advice and not to stray from the path or to take talk to strangers. She is wiser and more grounded or guarded and so takes responsibility for her own safety. If this is your favourite fairy tale, you have some kind of lesson to learn about trust. Maybe you need to learn to trust your instincts more and become more guarded. Perhaps you have trusted the wrong people in the past and this has led you into dangerous situations or open to deception, trickiness and betrayal. Try to be more aware of your surroundings and take responsibility for your own safety. To tune with your inner Red Riding Hood, say the following incantation three times whenever you need her magic. As Little Red Riding Hood walks through the woods, I ask for the wisdom to know who to trust. When danger appears, I will remain calm and relay, rely on myself to keep me from harm. My lessons, my lesson I have learned, and now I can see where the wild wolf hides under the tree. So that is the little red riding hood. I will be doing a few spells for you in the upcoming videos. So blessed be everybody.